We've reviewed a few helicopters here on the channel, but nothing as advanced as this RC helicopter right here. This is the AH-64 Apache from Yuzhang and Razordon. This is what's known as a GPS helicopter, and it should fly very similar to a drone as it uses GPS positioning, not only for stability, but kind of allowing it to fly super stable in pretty much any sort of wind conditions. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thing up for its first flight today, see what it's all about. About. I'm Alex from Hangar 14 RC. Let's go fly. Since this is a GPS helicopter, it does use actual satellites to help with positioning and some stability. So before we go ahead and fly that, we need to calibrate the helicopter for flying outdoors with the GPS signal. So to calibrate that for mode two, you're gonna to wanna to make sure all your switches are in the right position. And we are going to turn our helicopter on. It's gonna make a ton of noises. Lights come on for the battery. And we're gonna let that sit for just a second. And we can see that we are acquiring some GPS signals and satellites, but we want to put this into calibration mode. So we're going to put our sticks, if you're flying in mode two, into our corners like so, until the light starts flashing like it is. And the first rotations that we're going to do is we're going to pick it up and we're going to spin it like this until that light changes. See, now it's flashing green. So now we're going to tilt it forward like this and essentially do the same thing until we get a solid red light, I believe. There we go. You hear it kicked in, the light is solid red. That means we are calibrated and ready to go. Now this is by far the biggest helicopter that we've flown here, but I'm really looking forward to this. This helicopter not only looks incredible, but I've heard it flies absolutely amazing. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thing powered up, pulling our sticks down. There she is. Now it does have auto takeoff and return to home and all that sort of stuff that you can utilize if you'd like. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thing up in the air. <laughs> that was a pretty wild howling noise. <laughs> all right, so it is in GPS mode right now. So we have some slight breeze going on, but it is holding it rock steady that is hands off the you can look at me there's hands off the controller any sort of wind movement or anything like that similar to your camera drones that you fly it's going to hold it pretty much as steady as it can which makes it really nice because we just seem to have a ton of wind all the time now so let's go ahead give this thing a few runs <laughs> this thing looks so cool already i love the apache helicopter the size of this makes it just have a presence in the sky. And of course, with it being a GPS helicopter, it's gonna be just absolutely solid. You're not gonna have to worry about the wind pushing it really anywhere. And it's not gonna allow you to do anything as long as you have the settings right. Uh, that's gonna get you in any sort of trouble. Now, one thing to note, this doesn't have any like uh, obstacle sensors or anything like that. So you can still fly into things, you can still fly in yourself which I definitely would not recommend doing, especially with a helicopter this size. So just something to note, be careful, recognize where you're flying, if there's any obstacles or anything like that around, you know, can still definitely run into some trouble there. But this thing is so cool, man. <laughs> All right, so that is in the full GPS mode. And then we are in auto mode as well. There is a manual mode, so we're gonna switch it into that. And that's gonna allow us to go a little bit quicker, have a little bit more authority on the controls. As you can see, it's moving a lot faster. <laughs> Get a little bit more speed out of it, a little more maneuverability. This thing flies incredible. By far the best flying helicopter that we've had on the channel so far. But of course, that does come at a cost. This is not a cheap helicopter. I want you guys and gals to hear that. This thing does come in above $600 starting off, which does seem like quite a bit. But again, you are getting everything ready to go, ready to fly. And the technology that is inside of this thing to be able to do what it's doing right now is what you're paying for. Of course, on top of all that, 
on the exterior, you're getting a really good scale looking RC helicopter with lights, a uh, bunch of scale details, and one that you can fly just like this in a decent amount of wind so you don't have to worry about it. And it makes it very beginner friendly, I will say. I wouldn't recommend this for a ton of beginners. I would definitely have some experience either with flying drones or uh, smaller helicopters before hopping into something like this, but it does make it a lot more approachable for some more entry level pilots. <laughs> Put it back into auto mode. So we're basically just gonna hold it right there once again. Now I'm just gonna talk about a couple other things that this has. You can see it really leaning into the wind. I'm not doing that, that is doing it all on its own with the GPS hold. There is an optical flow sensor in here as well. You can see it on the bottom of the helicopter uh, that helps it maintain position and some stability, uh, kind of like that gyro stability as it's flying through the air in non-GPS modes. Of course, we have the lights on there as well that look really good. We have all of, like the return to home and safety functions that you would find in a lot of your camera drones. This thing is packed full of stuff and I absolutely love that we get a chance to review this and fly this because it doesn't honestly feel like we're doing much on the sticks. It looks like we're kind of just watching a little air show happening. But this thing, I love it. It can get moving too. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and bring this in for our landing here. Now, if you take a look at the underside of the helicopter, you'll notice that it does have some pretty beefy landing gear on it. Uh, it has like some shock absorbing landing gear on it. They are spring loaded, so coming a little hot, not too bad, but we're gonna try not to do that. And I could use a return to home function. I'm just gonna land it manually. And then to shut her down, just hold down on the stick. The motor shuts down and you're good to go. One thing too, this also does have a complete cut off switch. So if you look at this, it says danger. It's a little terrifying. Uh, I actually do like that they put that danger in red and everything. Do not touch the switch while flying. It will shut everything off from your controls to the motor, everything. It's more of just like kind of like a kill switch uh, for instances like I'm going to pick this up. I don't want this thing firing up if I accidentally bump the sticks. This is not going to allow it to do anything. But just note that if you do hit that in the air, you're probably gonna be replacing some parts or a helicopter. So don't touch that switch unless you are on the ground ready to handle it. So there we have it, the AH-64 Apache from Yujang and Razor Don. I absolutely love this thing. I had some high expectations going into it and I will say that they were 100% met. By far the best helicopter that we've reviewed here so far on the channel. But again, that does come at a bit of an extra cost, especially as you get into these GPS style helicopters. But I will say they fly like an absolute dream. I'm super impressed with it. And if you wanna check it out for yourself, I'll leave a link down in the description below for you to do so. It is an affiliate link. If you do pick one of these up, it does give a little kickback to myself at no additional cost to you. That's just to help keep the channel going and keep doing reviews just like this so we can keep flying some pretty cool stuff and see what they're all about. So I'll leave a link for that down in the description. If you haven't done so, please consider subscribing. It helps up the channel a ton. I'm Alex from Hangar 14 RC. We'll see you later.